scale and arpeggios in G major. On page 36, I'm going to start first with the scale of G major. And the finger pattern here is first and second fingers apart on the G and D strings. Um, so first and second apart and then second and third together on both strings. So you can see in the book that there's a wide V between the second and third fingers to tell you that those two are together. Second and third is together. Okay. <laughs> same scale again except with the coca-cola rhythm <laughs> octave of the scale of G major so it starts on the third finger on the D string and so the finger pattern changes here the next octave you start on third finger on the D string and you go all the way up the scale to second finger on the E string okay you stop at second finger on the E string and the finger pattern for this is so you can see another wide V on the top of the first and second finger on the A string. So that means that first and second fingers are together on the A string. And you'll see it again in the next bar, the one and the two on the E string. Again, the wide V above the first and second finger, which means that one and two are together, okay? play the same thing again with the coca-cola rhythm which is the fourth line on page 36, we play the full two octave scale of G major, which means we start on open G, the open G string, and we go all the way up to second finger on the E string. So again, just to recap, the finger patterns for this scale are on the G and D strings, second and third are together, on the A and E strings, first and second are together. Okay, and remember your top note is second finger on the E string, which is a G. So we go all the way from G on the G string to G on the E string, second finger. Okay? <laughs> exercise A on page 36. This is a arpeggio of G major. <laughs> And 
exercise C.